Oh, I just spoke my neck. <laughs> Welcome everybody to um, our first ever virtual um, senior awards presentation. Um, today we're going to honor the senior class for all of the hard work that they've done um, over their course in high school, and we're going to give out some scholarships to our deserving students. Exciting time. Super exciting. First, we'd like to recognize all our seniors who have taken classes for college credit while in high school. This is quite an accomplishment. Bertha Hewitt is rapidly growing in the college and the school and the PSEO program that we're very proud of. And we're happy to see so many of our students getting college credits while in high school. Um, so we had many students graduate this year with um, some credits in, in for college. Um, so graduating with 10 to 20 credits are Shelby Bakken, um, Ricky Herrig, Kenneth Hegarty, Destiny Graffentine, and RJ Mackey. Um, seniors graduating with 20 to 40 credits um, of college credit are Connor Bertram, Macy Fox, Michaela Hinsman, Derek Kimber, and McKenna Klimek. And then we have a few seniors that are graduating with over 50 credits, wow. um, which is like a year and a half worth of college um, college credits. And that's Caitlin Kyer, Matt, Megan McKnight, and Kaya Washawa. So that's amazing. Um, and I'd like to talk, um, to really highlight um, two of our students um, this year. Um, we had two students receive degrees while they were in high school. Um, Megan McKnight graduated from um, Central Lakes College with her Associates of Arts degree. So her two-year degree she's graduating with, and she got that while she was in high school. Um, and Caitlin Kyer received a Minnesota transfer degree, um, also from Central Lakes College. So congratulations to both Caitlin and Megan. <laughs> very impressive, ladies, very impressive. Uh, I'd like to talk a little bit of, about our two AAA uh, recipients, Kenny Haggerty and Kaya Washala. So uh, AAA is a, a program through the Minnesota State High School League that recognizes uh, students who are outstanding in academics, arts, and athletics. And so uh, it's an application process, and through the application, uh, Mr. Mills and I went through and sorted and uh, uh, did an, uh, we had a few candidates that uh, mm -hmm. showed interest in that as well. So two very deserving candidates, Kenny Haggerty, Kaya Washala, our AAA, or as I like to call it, our Well-Rounded Student Awards. Awesome. Okay, um, we also would like to recognize our 2020 Sourcewell Students of Character again. Um, this year, Shelby, Shelby Bakken and Zach Ellis were selected by the staff here at Bertha Hewitt as our Students of Character. And I think Mr. Glenn would agree that they are just both two, you know, really well-rounded students, always going above and beyond, behind the scenes, um, helping everybody out. Um, and they both received $565 scholarships um, through that program. So congratulations. One to of them. the things I like about this award, it is uh, an award that is uh, selected by our staff here. Mm -hmm. um, so we let all our, our uh, pairs and our cooks and our custodians and our teachers uh, I'll submit nominations for our students of character. And uh, so to me, that's just impressive that, that our staff here thought uh, these two were well-deserving of these awards. So very impressive, Zach and Shelby. And typically they would have a, a grand uh, banquet at uh, through Sourcewell at Grandview Lodge, but unfortunately that was not happening this year. So uh, we'll have to do the best we can. But again, very, very great award for both of you guys. Yes. Okay, next I would like to recognize our Bridges Academy students. Um, so Bridges Academy is a career preparation program um, that we offer in our high school through Bridges. And so students complete classes in various academies. So it's really preparing students to focus on the areas that they're interested in for their career and take classes in that career while they're in high school. Um, and so they take the various classes and once they complete an academy, um, they get to wear cords and they receive um, a certificate for completing a career academy while they're in high school. So they'll get to wear green cords at graduation. Um, so if you tune into graduation and you see these students with their green cords, that's what that represents. Um, so we have five students complete academies. So Shelby Bakken completed the Entrepreneurship Academy. Um, Destiny Graffin team completed the Health Science and Medical Science Academy. Um, Ricky Herrig completed the Professional Job Skills Academy. Michaela Hinsman completed the Business, Health Science, and Job Professional Skills Academies. And Kaya Washala completed the Business Academies. So they'll always have their 
um, green cords for graduation for completing that. Also, a shout out to our uh, Bridges Academy teachers. Yes. We have to go a little bit above and beyond to uh, get some training to be able to give these uh, these incentives to our kids. So mm -hmm. thank you. All right, next we're gonna go on to our scholarship winners. All right, so uh, congratulations to Kaya Washala. Kaya will be receiving the Royal B and Eleanor M Arvig scholarship in the amount of $3,000. Congratulations, Kaya. Congratulations to Destiny Graffentine. Destiny um, is receiving the Tri-County Healthcare Scholarship that is specifically for seniors that are going into um, education in the medical field and Destiny will be attending um, school for nursing. So she got a scholarship in the amount of $1,000. Wow, that's awesome. Also, congratulations, Destiny again. Yeah, she also received the Lakewood Health Scholarship, um, which is the same kind of thing. It's awarded to students that are going into a health career after high school, and so she received another $1,000 scholarship. Congratulations, Destiny. Uh, our next congratulations goes to our very own Shelby Bakken. Shelby is receiving the VFW Post 3922 Scholarship in the amount of $300. Congratulations, Michaela Hinsman. Michaela is awarded the American Legion Scholarship in the amount of $250. Congratulations. And Destiny again. Destiny. <laughs> must be going in. Uh, so, congratulations. Yes. Yeah, so the Jennifer Rapids Har Scholarship is um, given out to area students. Um, we This isn't awarded at our school every year, so we were really excited that we had a, recipro a recipient. Um, it is for specifically for girls or women that are going into a science or medical field after high school, and Destiny was selected um, this year to win that award. So she received a $1,000 scholarship from them as well. All right. And congratulations, Macy Fox. And Macy, she got the Minnesota School Counselor Association Scholarship. Um, she completed an essay and filled this out and submitted it to um, the Minnesota School Counseling Association, and she won a $200 scholarship. All right. So now we'd like to talk a little bit about uh, the Birth Area Band Booster Scholarship. Yep, so, so sure. these are um, awarded by the Band Boosters and Mr. Paulson, um, and they are um, money that's given out to the graduating seniors. I know he has some other, you know, surprises up his sleeve for you guys, but these were the students that were selected to receive the Band Booster, booster Scholarships. So Destiny Graffin team is getting a $250 scholarship. Caitlin Kyer is getting a $200 scholarship. Kaya Washala is receiving a $200 scholarship, and Kenny Haggerty is getting a $175 scholarship from Band Boosters. Congratulations. Our next uh, scholarships will be for the Sports Booster Scholarships. Yes, and so the Sports Boosters award scholarships every year um, to two sport and three sport athletes, so they like to recognize our students that are very active in our athletic program. Um, so this year, Michaela Hinsman is receiving a $200 scholarship. I know she is an athlete in volleyball, basketball, and softball. Kaya Washala is receiving a $200 scholarship, and she is also in volleyball, basketball, and softball. Um, so those are our three sport athletes. Ricky Herrig is receiving, er, is receiving a $100 scholarship. Kenny Haggerty is receiving a $100 scholarship. Derek Kimber is receiving a $100 scholarship, and Megan McKnight is receiving a $100 scholarship as well. Um, so we just like to really recognize our students that have been participating in sports, and so that's where this money comes from. So congratulations. Yep, but thank you, Bertha Hewitt Sports Boosters. Yes, thank you. And now we'd like to talk a little bit about our Ripple Scholarship recipients. So those of you that are familiar with our school uh, know that our staff has been certified in Ripple. We're very fortunate to have uh, Ben Rudrood and Scott Doss and others to come into our school and to uh, train our staff. And that means our teaching staff, our custodians, our mm -hmm. cooks, our cleaners, our paras on Ripple. Ripple stands for Relational Impactful Preventative Leadership. And, and the R is the big one there, relational, and uh, really focuses on the power of one uh, bringing our staff to uh, get students to understand that relationships are important. And uh, and so uh, Ben Rudrood, graduate of Bertha Hewitt, is uh, 
um, very, very generous to give a $500 scholarship divided into t for two recipients this year. And uh, those students that, you know, again, that uh, Mr. Kep and myself and others have figured, uh, put together that we think would be a good recipient for the power of one. Um, so congratulations to Macy Fox and Caleb Klimek. Yeah, congratulations, guys. They'll both be getting $250 scholarship uh, thanks to Ben Rudrood and Ripple. Awesome. Okay, now we're going to get on to the scholarships that are specifically given out by the Dollar Sister for Scholars Committee. Um, this year, the Dollar for Scholars, um, our local Dollar for Scholars is giving out over $12,000 in scholarships, which is amazing. Um, so the Dollars for Scholars Committee is just comprised of Bertha Hewitt parents and local volunteers who raise scholarship funds specifically for our students. So over the years since our scholarship fund was created, we've received many donations, scholarship funds set up specifically for our students. Um, each year, oh, let me just scroll down here. Oh, that's on. Okay, so each year um, the students submit, um, they fill out an application and they submit it. And then the committee meets and they anonymously um, give out or award these scholarships based on academic performance, participation in school sponsored activities, extracurricular um, activities, personal experiences, employment, pretty much they look at the whole picture of the students and award scholarships based on all of that. Um, and it's completely anonymous. So they have no stake in who's getting this money. Um, and we are just so thankful to these community members that um, dedicate and they take time out of their personal lives to come in um, and ensure that our students are receiving scholarship money for post-secondary um, education. I just think we're so grateful because most school, some schools don't have this kind of thing. So I'm just glad that it's available just for our kids. And at the end of this presentation, we'll have a list of those donate, uh, uh, people that have donated money for this program. And if you get a chance, make sure you thank them. So, yes. Should we go on with it? We should. All right. Congratulations to Shelby Bakken. Shelby Bakken is receiving a $100 scholarship from the Dollars for Scholars Committee. Our next recipient is congratulations to Connor Bertram. Connor Bertram is being awarded the Ask Commit Transportation Scholarship and the Dollars for Scholars Scholarship of 100, both for $100. Congratulations, Connor. Macy Fox. Macy Fox is being awarded the Lois Irene Bottomiller Bud Long Scholarship of $1,000, the Christy, Bill and Christy Umland Scholarship of $150, and a Dollars for Scholars Scholarship of $100. Congratulations, Macy. Congratulations. Very impressive. Congratulations to Destiny Graffentine. Destiny Graffentine is being awarded the Richard Decker Memorial Scholarship of $800, the Hewitt Lions Club Scholarship of $400, and a $100 Dollars for Scholars Scholarship. Congratulations, Destiny. Our next recipient of a scholarship is Frederick Ricky Herrig. Yeah, so um, he is receiving the Todd Wadena Electric Cooperative Scholarship of $650, the Jesse Olson Scholarship Fund Scholarship of $150, and a $100 Dollars for Scholars Scholarship. Congratulations, Ricky. Congratulations. Our next scholarship winner is Kenny Haggerty. Yeah, so Kenny is receiving the Henry F and Alice E. Steinkraus Scholarship of $600 and a $100 Dollars for Scholars Scholarship. Congratulations, Kenny. Michaela Hinsman. Michaela is receiving the Bertha, Hugh, or Bertha United Methodist Church Scholarship of $150 and a Dollars for Scholars Scholarship of $100. Congratulations, Michaela. Derek Kimber. Derek Kimber is receiving the Bertha Hewitt Education Association Scholarship of $1,000 and a Dollars for Scholars Scholarship of $100. Congratulations, Derek. Congratulations to Caitlin Kyer. Caitlin Kyer is receiving a $500 Dollars for Scholars Scholarship, as well as the Joe and Alma Pfeffer Scholarship of $350. Congratulations, Caitlin. 
And our AA graduate, Megan McKnight. Yeah, Megan is receiving the Inez and Ernest Velen Scholarship of $250, as well as a $200 Dollars for Scholars Scholarship. Congratulations, Megan. And off to the Academy, Kaya Washala. Yeah, Kaya is receiving the Glenn C. Johnson Scholarship, which is selected by um, the coaches, and that is a $150 scholarship as well as a $100 Dollars for Scholars scholarship. It's not easy to say. No, it's kind of a mouthful, Mr. Glenn. <laughs> uh, before, it's a special thank you here. Um, and uh, you can see we're going to post this online so you can take some time to read. There's just too many names to thank everybody on this list for helping out with Dollars for Scholars. I personally want to thank Mrs. Roach, who did all of this. Uh, I just showed up 10 minutes before we we're going to go here live uh, to help her out a little bit. So it was Mrs. Roach who put together the PowerPoints and your pictures and everything that you should be able to have and you should be able to share with family and people across the nation and, and relatives that you might want to share this with as well. So uh, again, there's a lot of people here to thank. Uh, take some time to, to uh, look over the names and, and uh, it's very important that we keep this going for our kids. Yeah, we're very, very grateful to everybody um, through the years who have donated to create the scholarship fund for our students. And um, we couldn't do it without them. And we can't do it without the current people who are donating. We're still getting donations and new scholarships every year. So it's really exciting that this is here for our kids and it's going to stay for the future. So thank just, you very much. Yes. Congratulations to all of our scholarship winners. Um, your certificate packets will be available at door one um, this afternoon, probably. Um, so you can come and pick those up. There also will be instructions for you all on how to um, get your scholarship funds through Dollars for Scholars. So all of that information will be there for you at door one. And we'll see you on Friday for graduation.